I play a character named Dave who's part of a covert action team that uh, helps uh, put out the fires, the uh, threats to national security. In order to be a part of this high covert action team, you have to be a team player. Um, I would almost start to say that Dave's a good soldier, but it's more than that. I think you have to be a good uh, operative. You know, the thing about the soldiers is that they follow orders and they have an objective. I think a lot of that happens um, naturally for Dave, but there's so much ground that we're covering that's without a net that most soldiers necessarily, in terms of the frontier, they know where their enemy is. You know, and uh, the thing about this team, oftentimes we don't know where the enemy is, and so you have to make these executive decisions. So um, Dave's a thinker, but he can also, you know, seek his objective and um, operate without a without a, a net. This idea of, of doing, you know, bad things to bad people, I think, really excites Dave. Um, and uh, I feel like if he wasn't part of this team, he'd still be putting the hurt on somebody. So it's a good thing that he's doing it in a productive, uh, positive way. What I like about Dave is that he's ready, ready for action, always. Um, few words. You know, he's not always shoot first, ask questions later, but he's got his hand on his piece, you know? Easy. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and, and he's very uh, at ease um, during times of, of high, uh, high pressure situations is when he's most comfortable. It's nice that uh, Dave is not, um, you know, defined as a, as, a, as a villain or a bad guy. I, Jose Cotillo, have played a lot of villains, a lot of bad guys, and I've enjoyed it, I've loved it. Um, because, you know, the thing about playing a bad guy in a convincing way, in a compelling way, is to not make him one of these twirly, you know, mustache kind of guys, but, but someone who's out there to get his due, right? That's really all that they're trying to do, and unless he's a real maniac. And what I liked about this first, this assignment, is that there's an idea of, of getting comfortable with a character early on from the inception that is out there to do some good. You know, I have kids and, um, you know, every headline that you read on any paper, it weighs on me much more now than it ever did. And um, there's somewhere to put that now, you know, to say, all right, I can tell my kids to watch this. They can, you know, be a part of this. And I think everything I've done up until now, you know, my children haven't been able to see any of it. So. Um, I guess, so let me, just, let me back it up. The short version would be, what attracted me most I, about this character was he's, he's one that's out there to bring some humanity back, you know, to the world and hopefully not borrow so much from tomorrow's generation. When you read a newspaper these days, uh, and no one really reads a newspaper, when you, whenever you read the internet and you read these headlines, you always get this idea that there's so much more to the story that um, you uh, are not gonna be privy to, right? And what I love about Taken and, and what we're doing is that you're kind of getting the story behind the story, you know, that it's not the crime, it's the cover up, if you will, and being a part of that, I think is gonna be pretty cool and watching that unfold and, and, uh, and, dis and be dissectable for the uh, audience is gonna be very compelling. Our entry point into the show is Brian Mills. And from the very get-go, he, uh, it's family, right? It's for the love of his sister and his family and trying to right this wrong and, and wanting to know why and not in vain. I mean, right, right, right away, that's somebody, you know, my, my family in Costa Rica is gonna tune in for that, um, all of you obviously around the States. And uh, I mean, right now we're sitting in a bank in Zurich, right? So, uh, and here, of course, I imagine if we were to go out and survey the, the, the fake uh, Swiss here, they would probably say the same thing. I said, what's the most important thing is your family. Um, that's there, and, and then the, um, this idea of, of that 1%, right? The, the, the politicians and the big business behind it. I mean, it's a world economy, and that little butterfly effect of one person who's greedy somewhere in the world doing one thing to you know, further his own uh, welfare and just himself and the greed and what that effect has and it trickles throughout the entire world. I mean, again, that's why we're here in Zurich. You know, we're literally gonna heist a bank for that reason alone. You know, Clive Stan is, is a very unique individual. I mean, he's an athletic guy, he's a good looking guy, he's, a, he's an incredible actor, um, but he's not afraid to humi humiliate himself in public um, or each other. 
Um, he's competitive in a, in a good way, but uh, he loves interpretive dance. I mean, he's, he's like I'm saying, he's a, you heard it here. Um, he, he is a very unique guy, and so, um, and that's and that's there. You know, I think Brian Mills is a very unique guy. Why do we why do we want to watch this guy? You know, it's like you get the sense that this is a, a guy who loves his he loves his family. Immediately, even in the pilot, we we met Clive right away. He um, he he wanted to take care of us. You know, like he's taken behind the scenes photos of us, and he'll come over and show him like a proud parent. He's like, hey, when you came out of that chopper and. You, Landed in the snow. And you did this. I wanted to show this to you. It looked amazing. He's such an incredible cheerleader that way. And he doesn't. He leads. Uh, he's a great number one to have because he leads like your big brother would. You know, he just he does it for the love of the game and the love of of us. You know, and uh, it's really it's really it's really sweet because it's um, there's this feeling of family here for sure. You know, when we're when we're not working, we're all hanging out. And uh, we're back in L.A. during the hiatus, where we do have our families and our usual friends. We were still getting together, you know, and uh, I've, this is one of those rare occasions, and I think Clive really helped set that tone.